Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little zoomed in right now, but um, yeah. I'm just a little bit zoomed in right now. Today I'm going to share with you guys my back to school makeup look. This is also just my everyday makeup look. Uh, this is what I like to wear to places where I don't want to wear too much makeup, but still want to look like, yeah, like just fix myself a little bit up, like look less tired, um, all of that. And I just love makeup, so I just like to wear some makeup. And also because I can do this makeup look within 10 minutes, of course, because I needed to film this video, it took me a little bit longer because I'm just talking and showing products. So basically, this is also my everyday makeup look. It's just two in one. Also a makeup look under 10 minutes. And also I got a lot of questions to film this. So finally it's here. I'm really happy that I finally filmed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys already for watching. So if you guys are interested in knowing how I apply all of this, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the new brow pencil from Morphe. I did a review on this, it's on my channel. I always um, just make the line below my brows and after that I'm just going to make some hair strokes up. And that's how I like to do my brows whenever I'm wearing like soft makeup and I like to wear soft makeup every day and to school those kind of like those kind of places but I do have to say that uh, in the beginning of school I actually told myself I'm going to wear makeup every day I'm going to wake up early enough if I would look at myself in the mirror I see like oh you look fresh right now so then you start to feel fresh it's also just nice that whenever i need to go after that quickly to somewhere um i always just i'm ready you know but i also just really love the feeling of no makeup just to be able to do this i'm going to brush through them now i'm going to clean up my brows i'm going to apply concealer and yes i'm wearing no makeup uh what I'm wearing no foundation on these kind of days. Um, like my daily makeup look is always without foundation. Even if I have bad skin, then I just apply on the, the, the places where I have like a breakout or something. I apply, apply some concealer. The concealer that I am obsessed with, it's almost empty. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's really good, it stays on beautiful. It applies nice, it's easy to work with. I really love it. I do have to say guys that I need to get used to school. Like uh, waking up every day really early. To be not able to make your own plans. It all depends on when I finish school. You have to just sit and listen for so long. It's also just different. Or it's like... A lot harder because before I was used always to go to school since I was young and then I quit with that now it's just uh, yeah I need to get used to that but I do have to say that I really 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 love my study I'm really excited to start working in this uh, yeah to be a nurse I am so excited um, I'm now also going to apply the concealer on the places that I want to conceal and that's definitely my eyes always they are so dark so i look so different without my dark circles i have no idea how to get rid of them anymore i'm now going to use the jaclyn hill gh06 i also did a review on this brush set and i'm going to use this ben eye powder to yeah, to set the places that are concealed. Always use the same products every time, the same products, uh, because I just know they wor work for me. And whenever I want to go like out uh, really quick, I don't feel like trying something new every time. I know these products work for me. Uh, I never actually run out of products, just only like the dark products, like some concealers. 
On the other products I don't run out because I have so many products that I can every time use. But actually with this, I have this bag, this makeup bag on my table with just these products that I use every day. And they are all running out. I'm going to use the Limelight Bronzer from Sigma and the Hotspot Powder Blush from Sigma. I have a code, it's Lila and it will save you 10%. But that will also be in the description box. I'm going to use the GH05 to bronze. Because I do really think that a little bit of bronzer does a lot with your face. Especially if you applied a covering product. Um, it's important to just to make it look more natural again by giving it some shadows and healthy color. <laughs> and with the GH01 brush from Morphe, I'm going to apply my blush. I really wanted a brush like this one for so long. It makes your blush just more uh, diffused, kind of, like more blended out. Now I'm going to apply some highlighter. This is the Man Ray highlighter from NARS. NARS highlighters are like more subtle highlighters. They, they are not like a fan of the extreme highlight that you see on Instagram. They are more like of the subtle, healthy uh, highlight. And on these days, I definitely want to go for a more subtle highlight. So this one here is just a perfect highlighter for me. And I'm using the Morphe GH09. And this is the spray I always grab, like always grab whenever I'm just wearing a makeup look like this. I really like to spray this spray, it's the Atlas Rose Water. Especially when I am going to wear my makeup for a long day, I like this because I know it's 100% natural and it's good for the skin and I know it will not make me break out. I like to just spray something on my face to make it all kind of like melt together so that it doesn't look too much like a cake on your face. So. And it also smells really nice, just like roses. Then I always apply some brow gel from Anastasia. And I brush my brow hairs up. Look at the difference that made. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it made a big difference. Then I always like to curl my lashes because they are just straight pointing down. And now I remember that I, for I forgot that I always apply some, some powder eyeliner. This is a special made powder for that. It's the powder eyeliner from NYX and I use the black one most of the times. This guys, whenever you're just in a rush or you have to do your makeup before school um, in the morning and really quick. This works the best, I feel like. Uh, if you have a good brush, the brush that, brush that I always like to use is the Anastasia 12 brush. It's thin, a little bit less precise as that you would apply with an eyeliner. And you can, with an eyeliner, like with liquid eyeliner, you can ruin it so much quicker. And with this, you can also wipe it away really easy. So I just really love this. And I never go all the way. I just apply it till like in the middle of my eye. I don't know why, I just like how this looks. And now I'm going to apply one of my favorite uh, mascaras and that's the Iconic uh, Mascara. It's just called Mascara Iconic London. Um, this one is awesome. I'm so sad that I cannot use my um, lash serum anymore because I used to have really beautiful lashes because of the lash serum, but my eyelids started to get irritated by every morning if I woke up, I had red eyes because of this lash serum. 
Oh my god, my lashes are really getting really short. There's a bad ingredient in a lot of lash serums that can do a lot of damage to your eyes. When my eyes were starting to get irritated, I knew I needed to stop using it right away. But it did really work. My lashes on this side are so much longer as on this side. How is that possible? Like maybe I burnt them or something, I don't know. What is this? This is ugly on one side. And then I like to uh, wear glosses. And sometimes I also like to uh, do a combo of a lip liner and a gloss. Now I'm going to use the NYX matte lip liner in the color Cold Brew. Um, and Faces by Coco, wait, yeah, Paula. Uh, what is her new Coco Sintido? I don't know how she is. She has a new name for her social media and I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but Paula really recommended these lip liners, so I really wanted to try it out right now. Oh yeah. Really nice. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply this NYX Lingerie and Butter Lip Gloss. Yeah, this is what I like to wear on like days for school and also for just to go anywhere actually. I feel like this is not too much and not uh, too less. It's just a perfect in the middle. It's not like, I feel like that people are like, whoa, she's wearing a lot of makeup. And also I can just do this makeup look in 10 minutes. So this is, uh, yeah, what I wear to school. I hope you guys uh, liked the look. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.